Hi, welcome back to Corsica Drone. So today we've got the Potenzic D20. So this is the box it comes in. Nice little box actually. Everything's well packaged inside. You get a spare set of propellers, the screwdriver, two spare screws and a micro USB charger. You also get a very, very nice manual. Really good manual, it tells you what to do. Perfectly, there's nothing missing, there's no steps missing, all the controls are labelled really well. You get the controller and the clip clip that slots in here. So that clip just slots in there on your controller and that holds quite a big mobile phone. Holds my iPhone 7, no problem whatsoever. On the top of the transmitter you've got a video button and a camera button. You've got a headless mode, a take off and land and then you can increase your rates by pressing in the right stick. It has three speed modes. It runs on, I think it's four batteries, let me have a look in here. So it runs on four AA batteries and then you get the drone itself. So the one great thing about this drone, it does not have proprietary batteries, so it runs on a 450 milliamp hour 1S LiPo with a micro logic connector. You can get these anywhere, they're very cheap batteries and it simply slides in the back of here and then you've got a micro lobby connector there and a nice little tab to pull it out so as you can see the drone is very very nice very nicely finished off this is a hard plastic shell it's not soft it's not pliable you can't squeeze it in the fit and finish is excellent on the drone it really is the pop guards clip in here and then you pull them in and out they're very tight to get them out which is a good thing they're not going to come off they could maybe they're a bit hard to be honest but they do they do what they're supposed to do i just like it it's a bit more pliable it has a 720p camera on the front which we'll talk about later and it has no sd card so it records to your phone so let me just power the drone up So we've powered the drone up, so as you can see it's got some really nice lights underneath and some really nice lights on the front. These aren't the greatest, you can't really see these outside in, in sun to be honest or even in a greyish day, they don't show up very well. They do look nice but they're not bright enough for me. And then on your controller you just have a single, single light to tell you that it is connected. Okay so how does it fly? So it flies really nicely. It flies in speed mode 3, it doesn't have any bad tendencies. You can fly it really nicely in speed mode 3. And I'd recommend if you've flown before having this in speed mode 3 because it's not a rocket by any stretch of the imagination. One is very, very slow. So two is not that much quicker. Three is able to fight a bit of wind. When I say a bit of wind, I mean a little bit. This thing can't handle strong wind. It can handle three and four miles an hour. I wouldn't really want to fly it any more than that. If you fly this indoors, I don't recommend it flying it in speed mode three. And that's because the, its bank turns can take a little bit. At the back, when it banks to turn, it needs a bit of space. So you're gonna need a bit of space in your house. If you want to fly it like that, I'd recommend flying this in speed mode one. So when I said the battery's fantastic, and it is a great idea, they've got the LVC miles out. So I don't know what, I can't remember what flight time this pretends to be, but this thing, sorry about that, this thing has more like a four minute flight time. And that's because the LVC kicks in. Uh, on the app, it tells you that it's got a, it's got a, an app that tells you how much battery is left. And the battery warning kicks in. So this thing will start beeping its head off at 15%. When you take the battery out and you've drained it fully, or what you think is drained fully, it's still got 3.9 volts in it. It's a 1S battery. These things are normally run down to about 3.5. So you're not getting anywhere near enough flight time out of it because the app is controlling it. So let's move on to the app, which is my main problem with this drone. The reason I'm not showing you the app on this is because the camera does not work. I've tried three different phones with this and no joy. It will not record. The app works when it feels like it. It just constantly breaks up. There's obviously a fault on this one, I'm guessing. When you do get it to work, so and you can see it in the air, there is no way you can fly with this camera indoors. So 
for some bizarre reason, they've pointed the camera so far down. This is the second drone I've done like this, that if, if you're ceiling height in your house, you are not gonna see yourself on the video. You're gonna probably see your chair at best or your, your bottom half of your legs. You need to get to about 15 feet to get this thing, to get yourself in shot. Like it's never gonna be good enough in the house. And to be fair, 15 feet, with this thing in a bit of a breezy day, I wouldn't want to be trying it. Uh, 15, 20 feet. You'll see the video footage I've got coming up. I've flown it outside. It's a very, very still day, which is why I've gone high with it. Other than that, this thing's a bit drifty. So do I, rec do I recommend this? No, I can't recommend this. I think it's a fantastic little drone. I think it's got massive amounts of potential. I really love the styling of it. It looks fantastic. It flies well in speed mode 3. But it's a chunk of money to pay for a drone that does nothing else but fly because my camera doesn't work and even if the camera did work that angle is going to be so severe that it's going to cause you a major issue so it's a shame and if it was if it was less money i probably would recommend it just as a fly just as a flyer because it's good fun to fly but the camera drone which is what it sold as i'm struggling to recommend it Thanks ever so much for watching. I'm going to leave you the flight footage coming up. There's no footage from the camera, obviously, because it didn't work. But you'll see the flight footage coming up of it flying outside. You can see it flies quite well, and it's quite stable in the air. Um, and you get some kind of idea. If you do want, if you are interested, the links are down below to buy this from Amazon. But for me, because this one doesn't work, I'd recommend watching some other videos. Because other people have made the camera record on this. You're going to see the same people. Same issue with people saying the camera's pointed down too low, but you might be able to see the footage that's recorded to their phone. Mine didn't work. So, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day.